Hello coders, in this video we are going to discuss interpolate function, a very powerful function to fill missing values in the pandas data frame or pandas series. In interpolate function we can use different methods to fill the missing values smartly rather than hard coding the values. In the mathematical field of numerical analysis, interpolation is a type of estimation, a method of constructing new data points within the range of a discrete set of known data points. As you can see, we can define interpolate function for our data frame like data frame dot interpolate parenthesis. Here you can see the syntax of interpolate function. It contains many parameters like method, axis, limit, limit underscore direction, limit underscore area and in place. So let me discuss each and every parameter practically. So for that we have to import pandas spd. Let me read our data set, read underscore csv. I am going to use data underscore temp dot csv file that you can download it from my github account. Link is given in the description of this video. As you can see over here, we are having some missing values in our temp column. So now let me try to fill these missing values using interpolate function. So for that we have to write data which is pointing to our data frame dot interpolate so as we can see interpolate function has replaced our nan values means this missing values with some values using some method so let me check actually it uses which method to fill our missing values so for that we have to press shift tab to check the doc string of interpolate function here you can see it uses by default linear interpolation. As you can see over here method is equal to linear. So to fill the missing values without any parameter it uses internally linear interpolation to fill missing values linearly. Also we can explicitly specify method is equal to linear. So here if we specify linear method or not by default method is linear. So please remember this interpolate function can fill only numerical values not string values. I repeat interpolate function can guess only numerical values not string values. Internally it uses different equations to guess these missing values. So that mathematical formulas we can't apply on string. So that's why interpolate function can fill only numerical values not string values. So now let me use another method which is time. Let me first print our data set. So please remember if we want to use time method then our date column data type must be date time not string or object. So let me first check data type of our data frame columns. So D types. So as you can see our date column data type is object that we have to convert into date time data type if we want to use time method to fill the missing values. So first let me convert our date columns data type to date time. So for that we have to use parse underscore dates parameter of read underscore csv. So let I write data is equal to pd read underscore csv data temp dot csv then parse dates and here we have to apply our date column. Now let we check data type of our columns. As you can see now date column data type is converted into date time. So now we can apply time interpolation. So data dot interpolate and here we can specify method is equal to time. Now it will generate value error because Time weighted interpolation only works on series or data frame with a date time index. Here you can see our data frame having by default index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. If we want to use time method in our interpolate function then we have to convert this default index to this date index. So now let me convert it. So for that we have to write pd read underscore csv then data temp dot csv parse dates 
to convert our date column data types to date and time and to make our date column as an index column we have to write index underscore call and date let me print our data frame as you can see over here now date is our data frame index so now we can apply data dot interpolate method is equal to time as you can see now it fills our missing values with date time index so previously when we have used the linear method so it fills the data linearly but now if we are using the method time then it also consider this date to fill the missing values this way we can use time method to fill our missing values using date time so now let we use next method which is index so let we first print our data frame let i create different cells let we check our data frame so now let we use data dot interpolate now method is equal to index so it fills the missing values as per our index same we have used in time also because this time method fills the missing values as per this date time column in index method also we have date as a index so as you can see so it fills the missing values in the same way because here also we are using date as a index to fill the missing values now let i copy our original data frame and paste it over here now let we use again interpolate and method is equal to index so as you can see now it fills the missing values with this index with this default index that you can see all the values are filled differently compared to this date with this default index as you can see over here now this index method fills the missing values as per this given index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now let we use our next method which is nearest so let me first print our data frame so we can use nearest method in the interpolate function which fills the missing values with the closest non nan values so now let me use interpolate and method is equal to nearest it fills the missing values with the closest non nan values so here you can see it fills this missing values by this closest non null values that you can see over here here is 34 and here is also 34 38 38 40 40 and 40 because it fills the missing values with the closest non null values now let we use next method polynomial so now let we first print our data frame so data dot interpolate and method is equal to polynomial so now please remember if we want to use polynomial or spline method then also we have to specify the order means degree otherwise it will generate value error you must specify the order of the spline or polynomial so here we have to specify the order let i specify order is equal to one so it fills the missing values with polynomial with order one also we can use different orders let i specify order 2 in place of polynomial also we can use spline to fill the missing values that you can see over here spline means rectangular key fitting so this way you can use different methods as per your requirement for example if we are working with the time series data then quadratic method is very useful if we want to plot our data then akima is the good option so now let me discuss remaining parameters let me start with the axis so as you can see we can specify axis is equal to zero or index also we can specify one or columns by default is none zero means filling missing values row wise one means filling missing values column wise so now let me first print our data frame so here you can specify interpolate with axis is equal to zero it fills the missing values 
this missing values row wise. Also we can specify 1 if we want to fill missing values column wise. But for that we must have the columns with same data type otherwise it will generate this error. Now let me discuss next parameter limit maximum number of consecutive NANs to fill and this limit must be greater than 0. So now let me first print our data frame then interpolate here we can specify limit is equal to 1 and as you know by default method is linear method and here we specify limit is equal to 1 as you can see over here it fills only one missing value out of these two consecutive NAN values because here we have specified limit is equal to 1 so it's just fill only one missing values out of two let i make it to two now it fills two consecutive nan values because here our limit is equal to two so as per our requirement we can specify the limit so now let me discuss next parameter limit direction so in that we can provide forward backward or both by default direction is forward so now let me first print our data frame dot interpolate and limit underscore direction is equal to forward. So by default if we specify limit underscore direction is equal to forward or not by default limit underscore direction value is forward. So now let we execute this cell as you can see over here it fills these missing values in forward direction to understand this let we specify limit is equal to 1. So it fills only one missing value out of two or more consecutive values. So it fills this value in the forward direction not this value because we have specified limit is equal to 1. So it fills the missing value in forward direction from top to bottom. So now let we compare it with the backward direction. Backward. So as you can see over here now it fills this missing value this one because now it fills the missing values from backward direction from bottom to top so this way we can use limit underscore direction either forward or backward also we can specify the limit also we can specify both as you can see over here either we can specify limit underscore direction as a forward backward or both so now it fills the missing values in both the direction forward and backward so in this direction this is become limit is equal to 1 and in this direction this will become the limit is equal to 1 so that's why it fills these two consecutive NAN values because our limit direction is both so this way we can use limit underscore direction I either in forward direction or backward direction or both the direction now next method limit underscore area so let me first print our data frame in that we can specify interpolate limit underscore area by default value of limit underscore area is none so let me specify inside so as you can see over here it fills the missing values so if we specify limit underscore area is equal to inside only fills any ends surrounded by valid values also it is called as a interpolate also we can specify outside it keeps all NAN values as it is it only fills any ends outside valid values which is called as a extrapolate with limit underscore area also we can specify the limit the consecutive any ends will be filled in this direction so if with limit underscore area also we can specify the limit 1 2 as per our requirement now let me discuss our final parameter in place that we have discussed earlier many times so interpolate in place is equal to true by default in place is equal to false it creates the copy of existing data frame with performed operation but it not modifies the existing data frame but here we have mentioned interpolate in place is equal to true it modifies the existing data frame with performed operation without creating the copy so it actually it modifies the existing data frame without creating the copy i have created separate video for in place parameter only that you can find 
in the pandas tutorial if you have any query or doubt you can write in the comment section below thank you thank you for watching